I'm going to go ahead and plug it in for now and tackle this tomorrow. I was looking at the organization of my server rack and I decided I wanted to put my Raspberry Pi in some kind of a rack mount. I was going online looking around, I didn't find anything I really liked 100%, at least not for the price. And I stumbled upon this on Thingiverse. When you see something that is awesome, you gotta give it credit. And this is awesome. So it's a, it's a 1U rack mount bracket for 6 Raspberry Pis. And so the idea is you can put 6 Raspberry Pis in here, you print off these individual frames, you bolt them all together, put on these little ears, and then you can put this on your server rack and here's some example pictures of what other people did. Now this is pretty awesome. And so I decided I would do the same thing. So here on my desk, I have, I have them printed off. Uh, the prints aren't perfect and the underside where it printed, it's a little bit, a little bit funny. I also didn't print off all the trays that I need either. You know, I think that maybe the tray's a little bit too, uh, too tight of a fit, but that's okay. Well, the idea is, I'm gonna put these all next to each other. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but my ears didn't print, or whatever, these little, little tab things here didn't print great, so I don't think this is gonna be a problem. It'll just kind of uh, work itself out, as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna put these together. I got the threaded rod and the screws. And what I have here is this, uh, Threaded rod. The 36 inch piece of threaded rod I got at Ace Hardware. And uh, so it's enough to do both the front and the back of that tray or the, the rack. So half of 36 is 18. Go ahead and mark that right there. Doesn't have to be exact. All right, now let's go ahead and cut this thing in half. All right. All right. And uh, so we have two pieces. Okay, now it's all in. It didn't call for washers either, but I, I I just really like using washers. Kind of a, I think washers are a good thing. Kind of disperse some of that pressure right there. And you know, PLA is a little bit on the brittle side. Not super brittle, but it is indeed on the brittle side. Let's make him finger tight for now. I will uh, get my socket set and a little wrench to back it. But yeah, it feels great. Not worried about this uh, failing on me. It's just a little bit on the tight side. I think if I just, I did file these, this down just a little bit, but um, you know, also could be how I printed it too. I don't know, but it does fit, and you don't want it loosey-goosey. The first guess is always the wrong guess. Okay, I like that. It's, uh, it's pretty stiff. It'll definitely hold. Now let's see if... Let's see if I have the right screws for the Raspberry Pi to sit in here. It certainly lines up. I already bought 24 of these at 
15 cents each. That ace. It's the place. They're, uh, I think the number four by three eighths, the shortest, the smallest I could get. Probably a little too tight. That's a little bit of an issue there. That's what I was concerned about. I think I could have purchased quarter inch long screws instead. Yeah, so I think I'm not going to make this as tight as I have to. Like, not all the way down. That'll be good enough. And that will nicely slot in there. I'm not an error. Look at how nice and tight that is, huh? Now I'm going to go and take care of moving my Raspberry Pi pie hole from the Raspberry Pi case and I'm going to put it in this first slot here. And maybe I'll even put a, get a label maker and put pie hole on there. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, now we're going to do a nice shutdown of the pie hole. Yes, power off. It might disrupt the internet in the house. I don't know. All right, it's down. All right, now the objective is to take it out of here and put it in that. All right. Oops. Put it there. Ready to put it in place. It's kind of a kind of a tight fit. It's probably never coming out. Power supply. Unfortunately, when I went to put this into the rack, I couldn't actually connect the power because it was too low and interfering with the frame. So I made some washers because I didn't have any. They're three millimeters in thickness. That should let me plenty of space so that the power connector will not be impeded. So I'll go ahead and screw this together and then I can do my final hookup and have my Pi 3 doing its job, I should say, my Pi hole doing its job protecting my internet or I should say my house from all the baddies on the internet. And screw this together. Looks like I made it a little bit on the tight side. So, you know, I thought I left some extra space. Maybe there's a little flashing or something. It'll do the job quite nicely. Three millimeter space was there. I can put this back into that pie rack. Ah, pie rack. The Raspberry Pi rack tray. And uh, plug it in. And then my pie hole will be working again. But instead of being in a boring... Raspberry Pi case, I'm in a boring 1U rack mount thing. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and insert my pie hole into... Well, now i got a new problem. It doesn't fit. A little notch. Ah. No. How disappointing. So I'm going to have to cut some of this out to make it work. That's not a big deal. Alright, so I have this done here. I'm going to try putting the Raspberry Pi, my Pi hole, back into this 1U rack. I'm going to power it off again. Yes, power off. And it's off. Oh, there's still some activity there. Okay, looks like it's in. And hopefully the power will reach. And I'm pretty confident it'll reach. Overall, I'm quite happy with the final result. I'm only using one of the six Pyrax, 
but more is planned. I prefer this solution over the best commercially available alternatives. This solution gives you more slots for less cost. It's easy to build, but a bit tedious to modify. I do recommend you use a raft and orient the frame right side up. I made the mistake of turning it upside down, which was very silly. And so, you know, this is wasted. Not a big deal. I only lost out on about $2.60 for this, for these two uh, failures here. And the tray is about 40 cents, but not because I printed it incorrectly, but because just it, I didn't have the, uh, the printer leveled quite right. The total cost of components is about $20, $1,100 of which is the PLA, uh, not counting the mistakes, and another $9 for the hardware, so the screws, the threaded rod, the washers, and the nuts. I can very comfortably say that I do prefer this solution over just placing a Pi case on top of my 24 port switch. Now if I were to make this again, I'd make a couple changes. One. I would lower this surface here so that I don't have to use washers to be able to hook in the power on the side. As I, I do realize that as I add a pie, I'm gonna have to come in on this side and go over. So I don't know how that's going to work out. It may not work out at all. So I might be skipping one, maybe, I don't know, or getting some sort of a right angle connector up. Not sure yet. This was designed to be used with a power over ethernet hat, so I may end up doing that, I don't know, but then I would also have to get a power over ethernet thing, and uh, I'm not real thrilled about doing that either. I don't want to spend extra money on that. I'm doing this as cheaply as possible. The next pie I'm going to be adding is a weather monitoring station. We'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting to see how the weather station works out, if I can put it all into one rack, or if it's going to spill over to another rack. We'll see. The fitment is too tight between the tray and the rack. Not a huge deal. I can sand this. I can sand this down on the side, but it would be nice if I didn't have to do that. And I do want to give credit to the designer of this, Russ Ross. I think he did a fantastic job. He obviously had a specific idea in mind of how to utilize it. He didn't think of my use case, but that is certainly forgivable as I don't think anybody would think of my use case. That's all I have for my high rack. I hope you found it somewhat useful and at least mildly entertaining. Until next time, see ya!